All right. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, YouTubers. Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Um, I wanted to touch again on carts. Uh, and I'll show you why in a minute. But just, just one thing that spurred it was I did a video about uh, a family, mom, dad, and a son, <laughs> traveled from Daytona, Florida. And they're heading for the Texas Panhandle. So you can do it. You know, you can ride a bike. You can walk a long distance if you're equipped for it. And they were equipped for it. They had three carts, two-wheeled bike carts, full of stuff. One was a double-decker. <laughs> had like a cooler, I think, and a whole rack over it. So it was a converted uh, child carrier, probably a burly or some, you know, fairly high-quality one because it was pretty solid rigged. Anyway, um, and then the other, I'm going to touch on th that kind of idea, two-wheel carts, and I'm going to touch on one here in a little while. And then the other thing was the, uh, I did a video when I was at Orschland on um, gorilla carts, and I started looking at them, and I'm like, well, that's not quite what that one was, and that's, this one said 1,200 pounds, and this one says 660 pounds, and I'm like, so I got to looking at them, and there's a, they have a whole family <laughs> of carts, a community of carts. So this is their website here. Um, this I would say would be I would describe it as their flagship one, their their major go-to one. This is the one I saw at uh, Orschlands, uh, 1,200 pound capacity, heavy-duty polyard dump cart. Okay, um, the go. G O R Gorilla 6 P S. I'm not saying that their designation, their numerical designations make a lot of sense, but hey, it's their business. So let me see here. That one, it was on sale, 99, but you, know, you can pick them up for at Home Depot, those, you know. You know, so let's say under 150 bucks would be a good deal. Because, like I say, the uh, two wheel towing cart that no mono wheel mono wheel fat boy that um, Nate from Canadian prepper sells thousand bucks so that's my point is you can get three four or five of these and that thing hauls maybe 250 pounds um, so with something like this let's say you, you made a bulk purchase and you got them for 99 bucks you know uh, for a thousand dollars, you can buy ten of these. You know, let's say you paid one hundred fifty dollars for them, you're still going to get six, seven of them. So, anyway, the Gorilla Six PS G O R Six PS is their twelve hundred pounder. Um, now, notice this one. Let me go back a minute there. If you see the back of that one, I can't point to it, but um, where it dumps, that is designed to lay flat on the ground, and it's beveled. So that everything in that cart pretty much is going to dump out. Okay. Sorry. This is a high-tech operation here with a uh, there's my high-tech stand. All right. I'll put it in the other way so it makes it a little more stable. Doggy biscuits. <laughs> So we can throw one out the window when the we're leaving so the dog don't chase us down the road to the highway. Okay, so anyway, th you know, these are, call it $120, $125, $130, whatever. 99 bucks on sale, no big deal. Buy them all day long. So this one is also a dump cart. Uh, they all dump as far as I know, but you see it's rounded there. And whereas on this one, you see on the side walls there, you see three places to put slats in this thing can be a covered wagon so if you have a bunch of uh, gear that you don't want to get wet build a little hoop system with pvc or you know you could make it out of uh, emt you know electrical metal conduit uh, anything like that L electrical metal tubing you know you can make benders or you know get benders and design it you could use wood slats whatever side walls and then put a roof over it Basically, a, it's a hand-pushed cart, hand-pulled co covered wagon. Okay, this one is a 600-pound capacity. I know I've seen them, but, but 
try not to get in front of that. Uh, all right. Boom, there we go. Um, Two-in-one convertible handle allows the car to be pulled by hand or quickly changed to a hitch for towing. Uh, snowmobile, lawnmower, uh, ATV. There's a drop pin thing that you just drops right in there. 38 by 20, overall height of 20.25 inches, weighs 37 and a half pounds. So uh, this particular one that I pulled this off of was an 800 pound capacity, gray. Uh, most of them have 10 inch tires. And there's the handle where it's got the little pin dropped through the hitch of a camouflage, or it's a dirt, either a dirty hitch, yeah, dirty hitch on a ATV or whatever, lawnmower. And then that handle flips, swings out and locks in place and it's got a heavy foam padding on it for pulling. Pretty neat. I mean, they're really built well. Unloading while keeping the cart balanced to prevent tipping with a hauling capacity of 1,500 pounds. Oh boy. Okay, so I got... Where'd I go on that one? So they make a bigger one, the GOR 1016, and that designates Gorilla... I don't know what the 10 is for, but 16 inch wheels, I'm guessing, because it has 16 inch wheels. Um, 1,500 pound capacity. Again, patented, quick release dumping system, durable poly bed, easy to clean, won't rust, 16 inch pneumatic tires. Now they're, they're all set pretty high uh, with 1,200 pounds in it, you know, it's got, a, it's got a good wide wheelbase, but anyway, irrelevant. I don't think anybody's going to put 1,200 pounds in one and push it or pull it or any anytime soon. But, you know, they, they say they have the capacity. So this is the 1,500 pound one. And it does look like a, I mean, just looking at it from what I'm looking at the other one in live, <laughs> it does look beefier. Big tires, 16 inch tires. There's, there's one in dumping mode. Um, and that's one of the 600 pounders. Now, I, at the store, you know, I kind of jerked on it, pulled it when it's in dumping mode, and those, those tires, unless they're absolutely straight or cocked sideways, you, you can't really move them. They lock, they lock in and stabilize it, but no big deal. You know, you can just dump it back down, say it back down, pull it a little bit. You know, just one of those, oh, gee, things, you know. <laughs> All right. So this is a 600-pounder. You can see the difference on the frame between that and the, you know, it looks, looks like a beefier frame, heavier duty. The handle looks heavier. Yeah, that's a rounded handle, it looks like. The other one's heavy square tubing. Yeah, rounded handle. And I don't see the handle on that one. I don't have a lot of pictures of the 1,500 pound, no big deal, nobody's gonna buy it. It's like $300, again. $300 for a 1,500 pound when you can buy three of the 1,200 pounds for $300. No brainer. Arm three people with an SKS instead of one person with an AK-40 or with a, uh, you know, a AR-15 or something. Eh. Um, but any, any of these, I'm just going to kind of go, go through these. Any of these would be a great option for having as a backup system plan B in case you have to go, you know, overland on foot. Now they're big, you could have it, you know, if you learned how to put it together really fast, you could have it in the box it came in or take it apart and have it in the bin there, but you get under stress, you lose parts, you lose pins, boom, you know, you're gonna be in deep kamich, as they say, or up a creek without a paddle, or up shit creek, or up shit creek without a paddle, anyway. <laughs> This shows how the handle swings around. The pin, it's got the little cotter pins. You pop them out, swing it around, handle goes in there. You drop the pin into the tractor, whatever it is, snowmobile, ATV, lawnmower. Good lawnmower. You can haul a lot of stuff a long ways. My friend's got a diesel lawnmower, and it's a good thing to have when the grass is three feet tall and really thick. It'll cut it. It'll power right through it. All right, so... <clears throat> That is either the 1,200-pound one or the 15, I can't tell which. These are, this is the 1,200-pounder. So you see that flat bed on the front there, the flat of the, the base just drops flat to the ground when it dumps, and there's pictures of that here in a minute. 
So I'm going to go through this combo and get on to another one, and my voice is a little bit <coughs> raspy. Um, brand new eBay 130. You know, like I said, Lowe's, Home Depot carries them. You can walk in any Orchlands, which is where I saw it. The first one I saw was at MFA. I thought, this is a really cool car. It's really well made. It's really heavy duty. $279. I'm like, mm, a little bit pricey. Walk into Orchlands, $99. Same thing. Retail, $129. So this actually is retail as far as what they are, were saying. So here's the, uh, I'm going to segue into traveling. Emergency vehicles, bug out gear. Uh, these people are not bugging out. Uh, they are just traveling. You know, they were they traveled from, I did a video on them, uh, uploaded that, but uh, from Daytona, hidden to the panhandle of Texas. And that rig there is a converted child carrier. So you can look at those online. Um, somewhere I had a Burley, a fold-up one, really neat, heavy-duty aluminum. But that one there, you can see there's a big, heavy tote tub and then a I mean, it looks like a cooler, because I can see white on the handles. I don't remember, and I can't blow it up right now. And then a pack on top of that. Now, that must have been Dad's bike. That, that, he's hauling some weight there, or at least volume. And then <clears throat> there's another shot of it. It was just perfect. I mean, we pulled, they, were, they had just pulled up. We pulled by. Hey, can I do a video? Oh, yeah, sure. And I tried not to get too much of them in the video, because I didn't want to intrude on their privacy. Those two are Allen Sport carts that they bought at Walmart. So, fifty-five. The guy said it was fifty-five dollars. Bought them in Nashville. So most, most, some, all, mail order, Walmart, whatever. I mean, they're out there. So for fifty-five bucks, you can get a pretty decent cart that will take you from Daytona to Texas. So they do. I did ask him about the wheels. Their air wheels. They do have flats once in a while. I said get get no flat wheels. Fill them with foam. You know, um, Tannus, T-A-N-N-U-S, and I told them about these. It's a company that makes no flat tires for bicycles. So I would definitely go with that option. Like for that $1,000 fat boy, fat wheel mono walker that uh, Canadian Prepper sells for over $1,000, he was worried about going out in the backwoods and having it, the tire go flat. The tire. Have a spare with you, you know, or something. Haul hundred and Two, I'm a, what is it, a 200, 300 pound capacity, throw a freaking wheel on or an air pump or a patch kit or something. But for $1,000, I think you ought to get a no flat wheel. For crying out loud, that, that just seemed incredibly stupid to me. Okay, that's their, their pooch, a deer head chihuahua, not dachshund. And it looks like a deer, it looks like antlers on that thing. <laughs> Pretty cool, cute little guy. All right, so now I want to shift over to another way to travel, and this this is this is a wonderful deal. These are machine bearings. This thing is super high tech. Uh, Three hundred fifty dollars, four hundred pound capacity, but you can buy one right now to help them build it. You know, and that's you know it, they're probably going to do it. I think they're going to they're going to swing it, but it's an Indiegogo you know crowdfunder and. You pay now and you get it mm, next month, next year. You know, and I'm not downplaying it. I, I, this is a phenomenal deal. What they've done here is they took the uh, Mormon Handcart Company. It's from Utah. And uh, the, the day I found this, I was just thinking, I said, I had just watched the whole the stuff about Ephraim's rescue. And I sat there looking at the cart and I went, wow, Lord, somebody ought to make a high-tech, upgraded, heavy-duty polymer hand cart that's kind of like those. <laughs> the next thing I pulled up was this thing. So that was pretty cool. You know, you see, see things, speak them, and they happen. And it, in a bam, there was a, the next thing I saw was this sucker here. So the whole assembly fits inside of the 46 by 32 by 12 inch frame. Um, good and bad, you lose a part, you're screwed. So, it has a kickstand. You can get a cover for it. You can get a, a, a mechanism that locks it onto your roof rack of your car. So 
they really did. I mean, this is this is a Mormon hand cart operation right here, built by guess who? Mormons. Yeah, it's a covered wagon. Um, different colors, supposedly. I don't know if that's going to be you know in the final. You can see those are uh, CGI. Look at the mountains in the background and the you know. Anyway, hey, if NASA can do it, they can do it. <laughs> if you can BS satellites into existence, you can BS this thing into existence. So here, this is a real picture. Now you see the heavy, heavy pins that lock the wheels in, that lock the handle into the frame. Two big, heavy red pins on this each side of the frame, the body of it, with the locks the handles in, and then the two heavy pins that lock the wheels in. It's really well done. I mean, super design. I talked to the guy on the phone. I said, hey, I'd love to help you out. And, you know, so I am. And he said, well, when we get done, you do we'll send you one. So <laughs> that would be nice. Um, now, one thing about the tall wheels here, as opposed to that, that poly mule, the poly wagon that I was looking at earlier, the four-wheel thing, number one, two wheels is going to get you through a lot more weird terrain, a lot more. Um, you put any kind of weight in that thing as high centered as it is, it's going to dump over. This thing is, is very wide, very stable in that respect. And it can also go over things, you know, instead of going, you know, here's a guy mountain climb and he got in there with it. Um, this is a scenario in the, in the advertisement for it. The gal's truck breaks down. She just whips this thing out of the back of the truck. Zips, said, puts a, gives a kid a glass, bottle of water and he'll see that. While she's getting it ready, see the hood's up on the truck. Boom. Packs her in there and heads off down the road, walking. Okay, so camping operation. Going over one big rock. You could looks like it's got about two foot of clearance on the in the middle there. You know, it's built like a genuine actual military Hummer, you know, with the big high center. You know, what you see out there as people drive around as Hummers, I call them dumbers. They're just kind of a stupid piece of garbage that not really real. You know, when somebody took one up the mountains and it broke, I mean, the whole axle, it, it was just no, nothing. I've been up worse stuff in a 1976 Jeep Cherokee, you know, and the, the thing just snapped, front end, something in the front end snapped axle or something. And they called the dealership and they just said, well, you're not supposed to drive, you're not supposed to do that, you know. These are just for driving around and looking cool. You're not supposed to take them out in the country. They're not supposed to go off wheel with them. They're not a four wheel drive vehicle. They're just a dumber. Dumber, 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 dumber. Okay, so this is an old boy, and this guy was rigged for it too. That's probably the same, might be the same truck that gal had on the highway. <laughs> probably her dad. But this guy was really working. I mean, I, you know, I know chainsaw and cutting, and he's got he's got chaps on, he's got chains, he's got he's got everything he needed there. Here's going uphill. Uh, it also has a uh, a bar. I'll show you that in a minute. But here's the guy putting the same guy putting it together. So you got these two side plates, this cross member. Um, there's two, uh, looks like machined aluminum blocks, stabilizers, slide the, uh, main body on, lock it into place with big heavy pins or, um, what are they called, uh, clevises or, I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head, but you can see how that works there. And then you, of course, you got the slots for, uh, side walls. Now this guy's throwing a piece of wood and, you know. It's a pretty hefty deal. It can dump. Wood's starting to come out. Dump it. Boom. Whole loads out. Um, in this, this show the two red handles there. You can see one on the far side toward the front. That's to drop the uh, hand, the pull bar down and make it into a kickstand. There's a guy sliding it into the truck or trunk of the car. There's one with the covered. I'm just going to zip through these. Okay, this guy is pulling up and he's about to stop. So you can see where his hands are positioned over those two red levers. Bam, drop them down. Step out. Here's a guy going to step back in. Reaches down. Click, snaps it into place. Walk forward and you're on the road. Pretty cool. Um, point here was a lot of people overload their their bug out bags you know this is a bug out situation you could put 400 pounds on this thing that alleviates two people from 
carrying 200 pounds or four people from carrying 100 pounds. 100 pounds is a lot. You don't want it. So basically this one cart will carry four people's gear. That's a solar panel you stick it on top. You can get an add-on all-weather cover. Rear handle for pushing, which would be obviously very wise. And a roof rack to lock it into the roof. A little bit of lighting. Pretty cool. I'm just going to flash through these. Some of these I had to just, man, pick them up quick. Let's get out of there. Here's the old chainsaw boy. Lighted. There's the bug out situation for family bugging out. Camping, whatever. That's a different, that's a tent in the background, not another one of them. Kind of a geodesic looking tent. And, you know, for a lot of, for anybody that, that's Mormon, they're going to, or the, you know, they're going to bring, this will bring back memories crossing rivers, but iced over frozen rivers and bloody feet and everything. So watch Ephraim's rescue. Here's a picture of the gal. The gal, little girl just got finished drinking her bottle of water. My mom put the cart together. She puts the kid in the cart, zips it up, and takes off. And the little girl's got a viewport, and she's, you know, out of the rain. You know, it's like splitting mall. Yeah. <laughs> and a beat-up old chainsaw. I mean, that looks like a uh, Chinese copy of a Husqvarna change there. So, dumping, I already showed that one. Putting the kid in the cart. See a kickstand there. You can see it. She's actually stepped one foot on either side of it across the bar. Should have deleted that one. <laughs> That's where he was about ready to drop it. Oops, sorry. That is a husky. Oh, well used husky. Change. There she's drinking her water. Hydrate before we take off. That's the last one. All right, so there you go. Um, you know, bicycle, foot, whatever, get good foot gear. Number one, get foot gear. And I want to redo that old article that I'd reworked from way back when. 20 things you'll need before the Great Depression hits, the next Great Depression hits, and it's coming. Buy good footwear, really good footwear, because that's the one thing, if you're going to walk, it's going to get you to where you're going to go. So just remember that one for right now. Get good footwear so you can walk 500 miles. You might have to. All right, this is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Drive now, folks, or walk later. So this is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are part of the remnant. Good night.